This is a nice new set of uh, feeding tongs and a nice expandable hook that I just got from Ben Siegel Reptiles. They're really awesome. Uh, great price, shipping and handling included. And they're a lifesaver. And I, I always talk about canceling the feeding response when you reach in to feed, you know, take your snake out if they're looking for food. So I figured I'd make a short video, show people how simple it is. You can either use a hook to cancel the feeding response. On many occasions, I've used an empty paper towel roll, and I've also been known to roll up a newspaper for a light nose tap to back them up so you can reach in to pick them up. But there are a lot of ways to cancel a feeding response. And they're not stupid animals. Once you cancel that feeding response, it's usually relatively safe to reach right in and pick the snake up without hesitation. That way they know they're not being fed. This is Sunday. She's looking for food right now. So, as you can see, she's ready to pop at anything. Back. No. No. All you have to do is just lightly touch them with something. Like I said, you can use... I'm bad with my left hand, so... Sorry about the shakiness. But once you touch them, they realize it's not feeding time. You can usually reach right in and pick them up. As you can see, she's pacing and stressing, the tongue flicking, that means it's a feeding thing she's doing. She's hunting dinner, but she's watching that hook now. She knows it's there. No. 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 They learn by association. It's not dinner. No. But once you cancel that feeding response, you usually reach right in. Just pick them right up. It's really not hard to do. Well, I'm putting her back down because I'm getting ready to feed her. I'm thawing her food now, so. Yeah, you can watch your snakes and tell when they're hunting for food by their body language and their actions, but she's looking for food. The tongue's constantly flicking, and she's been acting agitated for the last couple hours, thrashing around and roaming around and freaking out. But now that I've canceled her feeding response, I can reach in with my hand and touch her, too, because I tapped her with her hook. My hands are dry, been outdoors a lot in this cold weather. Sorry about that. Plus, I'm getting old. Oh, well. But uh, once you cancel that feeding response, they realize it's not food, so they'll back right off of you. I have a hook, or uh, I have paper, empty paper towel rolls I use. If I don't have either near me, I'll pick up a newspaper and roll it in half and give them a light nose tap. See how she calmed right down? But that's all you have to do. This one, this is a nice hook. But see, she's she knows that hook now. She knows it's not food time, so she's going to cower away from it. That's what hook training is. I have small hooks that I've made myself out of clothes hanger wires, but I covered the hook part and the handle part with vinyl uh, tape, so I don't have to worry about snake biting it and breaking teeth or anything. You just take a clothes, wire clothes hanger and twist it up twist it around and then it's like a foot long like this hook is this extended a foot long but it's really easy once you cancel that feeding response they calm right now usually some don't there are exceptions to every rule 